Hello, this is Roland. Today's topic is how to forgive and forget. A very important topic. A lot of people have a problem with forgiving. They don't know how. Some people don't want to forgive. They're unwilling to forgive. They hang on to a grudge. We've all done that, but it's time not to do it anymore. If you're willing to forgive, okay, then this lecture will help you very, very much. You see, a lot of people have a wrong idea about what forgiving means. They think that forgive, to forgive someone means to pretend that nothing happened. No, it doesn't mean that. Or they think that forgiving means that you have to be nice to the person, that you have to be nice to them and hug them and have things, something to do with them and so on. No. You could forgive a person, never have anything to do with them again. Okay? So... Let me talk about that. Okay, forgiveness, what does it really mean? Forgiveness means letting go of resentment, letting go of judgment. Okay? Now, of course, the ideal, which you can learn from reading some of my books and perhaps trying my meditations, using them, you can learn, the best thing is not to, not to judge in the first place. Okay, if you don't judge the other person in the first place, then you don't have to forgive them in the second place. You see what I mean? However, most of us have been judgmental. We have become resentful. So now what you have to do is watch for the resentment and let it go. Watch for the judgment and let it go. Okay, here's an example. Suppose there's some kids outside playing and they throw a rock, they throw a rock through my window. Okay, then I don't, resent, I don't resent them. I ask them to pay for the window. If they don't want to pay for the window, I go to their parent and say, please pay for the window. If he says, no, I'm not going to pay for the window, then I go to the police. See, file a police report and so on. You see how that works? In other words, I do what I have to do, see, but without resentment. If I'm standing in line and somebody's stepping on my toe, I say, excuse me, you're stepping on my toe. Please move away. See, but I don't resent them. That's the secret. And if you don't resent the person, then you don't feel guilty either, and then you can. Sp it's more easy to speak up. I have a whole lecture on the topic of speaking up. But the important thing to understand is you do not have to be nice to the person. If the other person is repentant, in other words, they did you wrong, see, and then they're sorry, okay, then you can be friends again. But if they're not sorry, okay, you don't have to have anything to do with them. Shake the dust from your feet and go on with your life. By letting go of the resentment, you're free, okay? You're free. So that's the secret. Resi forgiveness means letting go of judgment, dropping the resentment. In the second part of this video, I will talk about um, how to deal with someone from the past who was unfair to you or cruel to you or did you wrong. Okay? This video here just keeps it very simple. It's very important. Let go of resentment. Let it go. Watch for it. When you see it, let it go. Let it pass.